welcome to the Paper Dinosaur Project. My name is Jordy, and this is my Converse collection. Obsession? <laughs> I don't know, it might be an obsession at this point, honestly. So I don't really consider myself a brand-oriented person at all. I honestly don't care about brands whatsoever. But I own a lot of Converse. Like, I know there are off-brand Converse that are like the same style that you can get that are probably a lot less expensive, but I've never been able to find any. So I've just gotten regular Converse, which sucks because Converse fucking expensive. I started wearing Converse in the sixth grade, I think. Yeah, the sixth grade. It was a hot minute ago. And I've been wearing them ever since. I'm gonna take a look back and tell a couple stories here. grade I was 11 years old yes I was 11 and everyone in the grade all the girls in the grade were getting these Converse high tops and it's just everyone had at least one pair and I was like the only one who didn't and I felt horribly left out and I didn't like that feeling so I asked my mom for a pair of Converse and she got me this uh, pair of pink low tops and I panicked because everyone else had high tops and I had low tops uh, but I wore them anyway and I loved them and stopped caring that they weren't high tops because hey these shoes are cool I like them I like the color because you know back then I used to wear color and I used to wear pink I'm not really a pink person now but times have changed so I wore those for a long time they were like one of my favorite pairs it was just the classic single color look. Loved it. The seventh grade, I think, around then. I think it was the seventh grade. My mom and dad for Christmas got me this pair of Converse that was like, it didn't have the white toe to it, but it was all covered in sequins. And it was so ostentatious, like thinking back to it. At the time, it was something I really loved. It was just these sequin covered sneakers, which is so extra in retrospect. But at the time, I was in love with them. And I remember uh, between the, the heels of them, like the inside of them, where they scraped together when I shuffled my feet because I walked like a heathen, the sequins were starting to come off and there were little patches of the, the gray fabric underneath. But it's just all oh, silver sequins, sneakers, black laces, and I thought it was so cool. Then just before I started high school, uh, my mom took me shopping to get a new pair of shoes so I'd have another pair of shoes for high school. And I got a pair of like burgundy, maroon kind of laceless converse like there was like elastic on the inside so it didn't have the laces it was just slip on shoes which was cool i enjoyed it uh and i liked the look it was back to like the it had the toe like the regular converse do um but it was a little more subdued than the last pair i had then around christmas that year i think that year maybe the next year i don't know my mom got me a pair of, of really light silver gray Converse that were also laceless like that and had like little sequin designs on the side. Like not real sequins, not designs made out of sequins, but it had like the little little rings in a grid, like as if there were sequins there. And they were like vaguely metallic, like pretending that there were sequins, but there weren't. And I never understood why, but I mean, I liked them. It was more subdued than the original sequin sneakers look. <laughs> it's just thinking back to it, it keeps making me laugh now because what the fuck was I doing? But those I don't have anymore. Uh, so I have just those four pairs from like sixth grade up until like junior year of high school, I think. And they serve me well. You know, I converse are sturdy. It's part of the appeal. They last ages. So those are my retired converse. Back during my uh, laceless shoes phase, I got for Christmas probably this uh, pair of super punk Converse. The earliest origins 
of my studs and spikes and chokers and all that pseudo punk grungy whatever you want to call it i don't know but they're the solid gray they've got black in them they're studded the star is black the stars on this side it's black and then it has the pop of pink in the lining in the piping over here because the inside is bright pink and i thought these were the coolest thing ever I wore them all the time, I thought I was hot shit, and it was great. I still wear them every once in a while, um, but like, you know, with less going on anywhere else in what I wear ever, it's a little bit less, what the fuck are you wearing? So this is also the, Jesus, this was also the end of my, I'm gonna wear sneakers without laces phase, uh, cause after that all the shoes I got had laces. And I mean, I still have these. They're great for when I want to go outside to just like get something to eat real quick, but I don't want to tie sh my shoes. Slip ons. So the Teal Converse was my this is senior, senior year in high school. We're going to get you a new pair of shoes present from my mom. So uh, the Teal Converse, I used to wear a lot of color in high school. That was a thing that I did at that point in my life. So I got, I wanted the teal converse. It was another look at me kind of shoe. I thought they were cool, I thought they were cute, and I still love it. I really love this shade of teal. It's not too ostentatious, it's not like too much. It's kind of uh, more of a, a, a richer teal, which I like, uh, but they've served me well. I still wear them, I really like them. These were also the first pair of shoes I had in a while that had laces. Got me out of that phase. The yellow converse. When I was a senior in high school, I was in Seussical. I was the mayor's wife. And the color scheme for the Who's and Whoville was blue to green and anywhere in between and yellow. So I said, hi. I've got teal converse I can wear, because everyone was supposed to wear converse, so I said, oh, hi, I've got teal converse, and they were like, that's great, get yellow converse. So my mom and I had to go online to order yellow converse. I remember there was a choice between mustard le yellow and lemon yellow, and my mom was like, which one do you need? And I was like, I want the lemon yellow ones, and she was like, okay, but which one do you need? And I said, well, if they're gonna make us buy another pair of converse, even though I already have a pair of Converse that fits in with the color scheme, then I'm gonna get the ones that I have any potential to wear again because I'm not gonna wear the mustard yellow ones. These ones I might actually wear again. So let's go with those ones because Converse are fucking expensive. So we got the lemon yellow ones and I actually have been wearing them more than I ever really thought I would. Like, I don't know, it's kind of fun, it's kind of funky, I really like it. And I just didn't think I'd ever wear yellow shoes. Like even in my let me wear as many colors as I possibly can at one phase, I wasn't super crazy about the idea of wearing yellow shoes. But I actually have worn them a lot. They're, like I said, it's kind of funky, it's kind of fun, it's a bright pop of color in the shoes. Which is great when you wear all black everywhere else. On to college. I'm starting to uh, calm down just a bit with and I wanted a new pair of shoes before I went off to college so I could just have you know something super neutral because I that was around when I threw away the light gray ones and so all I had left for sneakers was bright colors and the studded spiked ones and I was like I kind of like what if I want to just calm down or something so we went to the store and I knew what I wanted immediately, I was just hoping they had it, but I just got plain black Converse. Classic look. Classic look. Black. Plain. Thank you very much. Subtle. White. Simple. Neutral. A solid face. And I remember my mom being like, don't you want like maybe something in like a color or whatever? because I'd always gotten like colored shoes and I was like, well, see, I'm trying this new thing where I calm the fuck down, so we're gonna go with just the plain black ones for now. I am 
all about thrift stores. I love thrift stores. I go to Savers a lot. I have a Savers membership card. The cool thing about thrift stores is they also sell shoes. The cool thing about Converse is they're super sturdy. If someone sells a pair of Converse to a thrift store, they're like nine times out of 10 gonna still be in great condition. So that brings us to these. I love these shoes. These, I got them at a thrift store for $12 maybe and they're super cute. It's a very dark gray which I like with the white polka dots which I think is so fun and so cute. It fits in with my I'm not gonna wear a lot of bright colors look but also they're a little quirky and a lot of fun and I really love them. This is also the first pair of high tops I had but I super love these. I got them this past summer and they're great and wonderful and I love them. And I feel like if I was to like pick one thing I own that sort of sums up my aesthetic, I'd probably choose these high tops. A little bit grunge, a little bit quirky, dark gray and black, but I love these. Also this past summer, my very, very dear friend Liz, who's appeared in a couple of my videos in the past, was getting rid of a bunch of Converse because she was obsessed. She sent us a picture of like 37 pairs of shoes and we were blown away. Like that was a lot and she was like, hey, anyone want any of these? So I snagged up a bunch. I got this gray pair, which is nice. It, these are really worn in, very well loved. Uh, Cause they are still in good condition, but uh, they just look very worn in, very well loved and I like it. It's also a very dark shade of gray, which is cool. I, I really like this color. Oh god, and then there's these gems. Also from Liz. She designed them in middle school. They've got three different patterns going on. It's, wait, you can't see the one in the tongue. Three different patterns going on. It's a lot. I know I said I really like minimalism, but th I do really like very good pattern mixing, and this, I think, is very good pattern mixing. I just think they're really cool. Anytime I wear these, um, someone tells me that they're really cool because, hey, Liz, you designed a good pair of shoes. Like, this is cool. This is, I love these. Actually, I know I said the polka dot ones might sum up my aesthetic, but I think these ones might be in rivalry for it. I wear these all the time. I love the idea of having two different patterns on either side. I really, really like these shoes. Liz, you designed a good pair of shoes, and I love you for giving them to me. I'm taking very good care of them. I promise they're a very, a very special place in my heart. Uh, but so these shoes are also really important to me. And these are the most recent pair of Converse I've gotten. Anytime I go to a thrift store, I look for more pairs of Converse to, you know, see what the options are, see if there's any out there, because they tend to be inexpensive, they tend to be in good condition, and they tend to be a little more fun. I do want to get more Converse. Like I said, I really like the sleek, minimalist look to it. Uh, I'd like to get maybe a dark green pair of Converse. I think that could be cool. And I've, oh my god, I've always wanted like a white pair of Converse that I could just doodle all over in like fabric marker or whatever because I just think that'd be a lot of fun. So, you know, fingers crossed, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this video here. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to show that like button some love, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.